and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. I have de-kitted my birds and now it is time to get them looking even more beautiful in my display book. So, uh, is this 16 again? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. It is. So we have 16 birds um, and this is a 20 pocket display book which means I want to remove two pockets from either side of the display book because I like to, it to have the right amount required for my paintings. It's the way I prefer to do it. Um, but they're actually, the pockets are that well stuck in, I can't just pull them out. <laughs> I do need to pull them out. It does end up leaving a little bit on either side, but to be honest, any time I've looked back through them, I, I just don't see it. It's just, it's just not something I see at all. Uh, it doesn't annoy me because I don't see it. Um, so yeah so I've taken out four which leaves me 16 pockets one of these days I will make a mistake with it and cut out too many pockets probably uh, but I can always pop it aside for a different paint gem mini set <laughs> that's my view anyway so I'm going to take out the front and pop in our cover sheet which shows all the birds and then I get to do the fun part of getting them on the card and ready to go. Um, I have taken the time, I have actually put double-sided tape on the back of all of these because that is one of the most sort of tedious things to do. So I currently have a brew here with me while I've been doing the filming so I just decided to just put the tape on them all because frankly it can be tedious enough uh, watching me peel the tape off, <laughs> never mind watching me put it on as well. Uh, so this set, I did actually knock a cup of coffee right near this set, well Luna did but anyway it went flying um I think there's a couple of little specks on this not very in your face but just a little bit but I did use some ABs in this one not all of them have ABs not all of them have ABs maybe where I would have preferred the ABs to be I did run out of the pink quite early on in the process of doing this uh, but what I did do while I was doing it was I chose where to put the ABs first. There's a couple of reasons that that became beneficial is one I was looking at the picture of the whole and not just going I have that AB colour I'm going to put it in. I looked at the image say as a whole and decided where I wanted the ABs so on here I didn't have any for the pink so it was quite nice to have it scattered throughout the parrot which I am just going to check it definitely is the one that they call parrot before I stick my sticker on to give him his name um, some of them I didn't put any, some of them I just put like a little bit in the eyes on this one. Um, plus I was able to put the ABs on with my pickup pen, my wax pickup pen. And if they, because the wax pickup pens you have to be more gentle with them, um, if you try to push a diamond into place with the wax tip it is in no way as forgiving um, and it will squash your wax tip so I was able to place the ABs down first get them in the places that I wanted 
Um, use the AB um, wax pen, but if they didn't quite go in the right place, then when I placed all the other normal diamonds around them, I was able to use those diamonds to nudge them straighter. Um, and I found that was, well, both of those reasons were, or even on their own, they're both very good reasons to add the ABs first. Um, and yeah, I found that worked best for me. Plus then I could pop the packets back into the case. We're definitely on the Robin now, aren't we? Yes, Christmas Robin. Um, yeah, I was able to pop the ABs back into my tub and just work on the normal colours. But the Robin has a little bit on the flower and a little bit on his breast as well as just a little tinkling in the eye. Um, it's the flamingo that you can see that's coming up um, that I kind of would have liked to have put some in. But I've realised my ABs are very short of having pink ones. I'm very short of pink ABs. I seem to have a lot of oranges and yellows of various in various degrees. I have quite a bit, I think I have quite a bit of purple, but I am seriously lacking in the pink variety. Do they just call this the tit bird? They do, uh, which is a blue tit in my opinion, but See, that one I think is really, really pretty. So the likes of the Flamingo didn't end up with any ABs in it because of what I had. But they do look amazing on their own. I just like to add the ABs. I suppose, you know, it gets some of my ABs used, which is nice. It adds a little bit of difference to some of them. Uh, but then there are some kits that I don't add ABs to at all. So insects that I have recently de-kitted and popped away, even though in hindsight um, some ABs may have looked nice on some of the wings of um, the insects, they, you know, weren't one that I primarily thought oh, it needs ABs. Um, also the doggies set um, I didn't feel that that needed ABs I didn't feel that dogs needed that extra kind of sparkle uh, maybe it's just because it's more muted colours than some of these colourful birds are uh, but this peacock is amazing I'm actually doing quite well with these names without looking at the list but the peacock, I think, where the ABs ended up being on that one, um, it's one of my favourites. One of my favourites for AB placements. Uh, I think on some of the others, I probably would have preferred it on the likes of the flowers than the actual bird itself, um, which may have worked better with the likes of this one, the toucan. I think it would have been a nice flower addition. Um, while there is a little bit in the middle of the flower, it's not as much. <coughs> um, so I did place a little bit in his beak, probably more in the beak, um, and just a little bit on his chest, which I think was really nice. But I think it would have been nice if I'd had the right colour green. Um, I didn't have the right colour green to do a bit on the leaves and I didn't have the pink, um, but that would have been a nice addition if I had them to do. Mr Penguin, I don't think I gave him any. I felt like even though I have white, I have lots of white. Um, I personally felt like his belly didn't particularly need a lot of white, a lot of AB. Um, so I actually didn't end up giving him any. Um, I may I may have in hindsight given him one in his eye. 
uh, but I think I was more concentrated on his belly and decided that um, his belly didn't particularly need an AB. He's not as much of a sparkly kind of bird in my opinion. Right, which one is this one actually? What bird is this one? Why am I not seeing it? Oh, it's a mandarin duck. That's probably why. I wouldn't have looked at this and thought duck. <laughs> does look like a bird, but I wouldn't have thought duck. So let me get my tape off on this one. So he does have ducky type feet, I suppose. But uh, maybe I've added a bit too much sparkle on him for him to keep looking like a duck. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I do have uh, a bit of sparkle in the flower on him as well. Uh, I also chose not to give sparkle to the dove or what they call a pigeon actually. Um, it's called a pigeon on the paint gem sets and I also didn't on the swan. Uh, the swan actually has quite a bit of grey in him, rather than white, rather than being a main body of white. And I just felt it might have been a little bit too overpowering. But yeah, they call this one a pigeon. To us, pigeons have a lot more grey in, in the UK than that one does. But... Mr. Swan, um, I say, I just didn't think the AB would suit as much, or that at least that was my opinion when I was doing it. Uh, if you can see through the back, you see where the white is, you can see it quite prominently on the chart, um, and where the white was, I just felt as though it wouldn't give a nice a B coverage the same so I decided to stick with the original colours for this one but this one is a swan uh, we have some A B on this one just in the blue which I thought went quite nice I wasn't sure how much of the 820 blue I would get away with using uh, because it is a dark colour AB, I find they're not as easy to use as the light colour ABs. Um, it could just be my personal preference, but like 310, 820, 939, 3371, those sort of ABs, I don't find them very easy to use. So I didn't think I would get away with using as much of the blue as I have, but I do think it looks gorgeous on a crane bird. I think it's worked really well. Um, I'm wondering which one it was. I actually managed to get my little bit of pink in. I did actually use up two ABs completely on this bird set. So two sets, where you, I used up all the ABs that I had. I think on the pink one, if I remember rightly, um, I actually had um, I actually had to do a mixture of some of the colour in AB and some not. But Mr Heron has it in his beak, a little bit on his chest and his feathers on the back. It was it was the hummingbird one because this is backwards to the order that I did them in. So I had more choices of ABs on some of these. So we've got a little bit of pink in this one. Um, and I think this one is one that also turned out really pretty. <clears throat> Maybe I need to get myself a little bit more of a selection of ABs. Um, or maybe I'll build them up because I am doing more and more paintings with ABs in them. So I do get to build up quite a nice selection just from my spares. Um, but 
but yeah this is this is another one that I do think is one of my favourites for AB placement he's got little bits in his pop of colour uh, but it was actually this hummingbird that I used up the pink and I didn't have enough to do all of the same symbol so the way I actually started placing it was in a way that I could mix both ABs and none. And once I've got him stuck on here, I will show you what it is I did. And as much as I've kept the empty bag with its sticker on for any future ones I may get, so I don't feel the point in removing the sticker and then having to find one to put one back on. Um, I do think it's worked. So there is like three here. These three pink are actually the same as this pink with the AB coating on. And there's also one over here that doesn't have AB coating on. So it wasn't a lot. And when I started doing it, I think I started doing like just a basic outline first and then went in filling in some of these gaps until I felt like I'd got a nice spread of ABs. And I think you can't really tell, you know, that I've got one and not got where it should be, where an AB should be. And yeah, it was a nice selection that. I think I'd say I just didn't have any green in this one either, which you never quite know until you're actually doing them. You know where you may want the ABs to go and I definitely didn't have colours enough colours to do all of the sections I wanted and then Mr Eagle just has it in his beak and just a little bit next to the black part of his eye for just a little bit of sparkle okay so they are all stuck on card so the next thing I need to do is pop them in my book. I feel like it's popping the double-sided tape on beforehand. It's not something that, you know, takes away from the video. Um, and it doesn't save a load of time because, of course, I'm still spending the time doing it. But I just, I just feel it's a very boring part. <laughs> A very boring part so I've just popped the double-sided tape on and we still have to sit through me taking it off but yeah I think some of these these birds are beautiful and adding ABs to the bird set was very nice to do just made me wonder what sort of sets will get picked or what set will get picked to go up and go in this storage now it has been finished because it's only now that I have got these all in their display book um, that I will be able to kit up another one and I wonder if it'll be one I can add ABs to or want to add ABs to or not you can add ABs to any uh, I don't think I'll add any to the mystery because I like to know what the overall picture would look like to know where ABs would look good. Um, and I won't know that on the mysteries. I'm trying to think what else would look nice. The masks might look nice with ABs. I do tend to go towards the bright ones being good with ABs. And then don't have loads of bright colours that I can add. Isn't that always the way? Uh, the doors would look nice if I have the colours that go in the flowers around the doors. I think that would be a nice set. But my birds are in their books. Say, so I think Hummingbird is one of my favourites. I love the AB placement on Peasant. Um, on pheasant, sorry. Crane bird, I'm pretty proud I used some 820s. <laughs> the mandarin duck, well, looks okay. 
I think the Toucan probably could have done with a few more. Peacock, I'm happy with the Peacock placement. Uh, I think you can go a bit overboard on Peacock, but I think he got a nice balance. My Flamingo still looks good anyway. And I got some 820s into my um, Blue Tit. And then of course we've got the Robin, the Owl, and the parrot, which is rather a bead, is the parrot. So last thing I need to do is pop the sticker label that just says birds on the spine of my book. So I know which one it is, and that is in no way straight. So let's try that again. I think I need to angle it a bit to more towards me than towards the camera so I can see. There we go. Birds is on the spine of my book, so they are ready to go away. Uh, and that is another Paint Gem mini set completed. So thank you to all of you so much for joining me while I got this one finished off. Stay tuned, I will be kitting up into this book set, another Paint Gem mini, in the future at some point. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.